The lateral ventricles are the largest ventricles, and you can see one of the lateral, lateral ventricles right over here. Right over here, this is the anterior horn of the lateral ventricle extending into the frontal lobe. The body uh, is right over here. The posterior horn of the lateral ventricle extends into the occipital lobe. And here you have the inferior horn extending into the temporal lobe. The lateral ventricles are connected to the third ventricle by the interventricular foramina. Here we have a close-up view of the third ventricle. You can see right over here an opening. Now this opening corresponds to a place where the two thalami are connected to one another by a bridge of neural tissue. This neural tissue is referred to as the interthalamic adhesion. This location is where you have the supraoptic recess. Right over here below it, you would have the optic chiasm. And right over here is where you would have the infundibulum. The anterior commissure would be right above here in this notch. The pineal gland would be back right over here. The roof of the third ventricle is over here, and we're going to see some paint that indicates the location of the choroid plexus. Right over here, we have the beginning of the cerebral aqueduct. Right over here is the third ventricle. You can see how slender it is from this perspective. You have it connected by the interventricular foramina right over here. And this pink paint that you see right over here represents the location of the choroid plexus in the roof of the third ventricle. Right over here, you can see more of this pink paint, which represents the choroid plexus that also is going to be extending into the lateral ventricle. Here is your third ventricle. Here is your cerebral aqueduct. We can see that there is pink paint on the posterior side of the fourth ventricle. This is because there is choroid plexus here. So you find choroid plexus also extending into the roof of the fourth ventricle. You would find the lateral recesses on either side, but they tend to get broken off or damaged. And so the lateral apertures are not well represented here in this model. The median aperture, we're going to see right over here. But here you could see the lateral recess a little bit better, and the lateral aperture would be right over here. You can see here is where you would find the median aperture.